average dude has something to say about Hello everybody, welcome to the first episode of Average Dude. And today we're going to talk about uh, something that I didn't want to talk about. Uh, the Jackson family, because quite frankly there is a lot of history there. <sighs> Goes back quite a ways. Really didn't want to talk about it. Um, after Michael died, started seeing the kids brought out and I thought, oh no, 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 don't, don't exploit the kids now. Don't throw them into the news and make fodder out of them. They're kids. Then they de they definitely didn't need it. But hey, uh, yeah, it started happening. So my reaction to that, just as a regular person who just doesn't want to see that stuff, is to just not pay attention to it so much. Not follow all the gossip that we seem to keep doing with celebrities and just following every juicy bit. Uh, I have more important things to do, like actually living life. But, uh, well, the little bits keep coming, and no matter how hard you try to shut them out, they, they keep manifesting. Like, uh, well, yeah, let's, for example, uh, heard about uh, Janet had a problem with Paris, the girl, the 13, I think she's 13 years old, uh, wanting to make a movie. Apparently somebody pitched to her the idea of, hey, Let's do a movie. You can do it now. You don't want to wait and later. Because you know how Hollywood is. You know how the business is. Got to do it now. It won't be available when you're older. Yes, it will. <laughs> They're the kids of Michael Jackson. They could be 30 years old and plus, And someone out there with the ability to make it happen is going to make a movie and make their dreams come true. Okay? It's going to happen. <laughs> it's just so sad. But uh, unfortunately, that's what happens. We prey upon these kids, and I thought, okay, I don't want to follow this. Um, then you had a situation where apparently, it was, it, it, I'm not even sure I'm following this right, because I really didn't want to look into it too much, that, that Janet had hit her or slapped her or something. Now, I'm not going to really elaborate on that, because I didn't follow it. I didn't want to. I'm thinking, you know what, this is uh, their dirty laundry, and it's a family affair. It's a personal family affair. Let them work it out. They're, they definitely have the means to. They certainly have the financial means to. But no, then all of a sudden we started hearing this really crazy nonsense about Grandma, Katherine Jackson, Michael Jackson and the Jackson Five, Kids, you know, all the boys, Tito, Jermaine, uh, LaToya, and Janet, their mom, <laughs> the matriarch, so to speak. Uh, good Lord, she's kidnapped. And she happens to be the guardian, or at least was, the guardian of Michael's kids after he died. <laughs> and all of a sudden, sudden, people started weighing in on this, and I just, I, 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 I ignored it. I didn't want to follow it. But then the news came out. Katherine Jackson, this 80-some-year-old woman, she's now a grandmother, came out and said, I wasn't kidnapped. I was on vacation. What? On vacation? Yeah, I decided to leave the state. But what? Leave the state? Yeah, I didn't, uh, it, it gets better. Okay, so you got to understand, Paris was tweeting, uh, she was going nuts because her guardian, Catherine, grandma wasn't there. Eight days and counting, something is really off. This isn't like her at all. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she went to, uh, this is according to Catherine. She was away in Arizona, out of state, at some type of spa and resort, just to get away from it all and relax. Wow, Catherine. <laughs> and so she complains. I am devastated that while I've been away, my grandchildren have been taken away from me and I'm coming home. You shouldn't have left in the first place. 
They had every, the courts had, that judge had every right to take those kids away from you. You are an 80 some year old woman. You have been a mother and a grandmother and your kids have been so successful and have made so much money and you've had your hands in a good portion of that money yourself. You can afford to have a clue. Wow. I, she was better off with the kidnapping situation. That story would have made more sense. Uh, it wouldn't have been right. It wouldn't have been morally or ethically right. But it would have made more sense than I just left. Or you know what? Maybe it does make sense. Michael had a problem growing up. And so did the, the other kids. They were kind of vocal about how much of an asshole their father was. Um, control freak very stern, demanding taskmaster, basically trained them so that they could be famous and work as children, you know, child labor, so that the parents wouldn't have to work themselves. <laughs> yeah, those are parents for you, right? You know, your kids are supposed to make a living for you. No, you're supposed to make a living for your kids. They're children. But, um, yeah. If there was any doubt in anybody's mind, we all got to see it, not that long, when Michael died, right after he died, we got to see Daddy, his dad, the grandfather, get in front of the camera and literally force his way in front of the camera every chance that he had with that, sm that weird smile on his face, shamelessly promoting stuff. Oh, don't forget, uh, this will be available for purchase, and you can buy this, buy this, you know, buy the stuff from my son. After your son died, there's a dad for you. Gee, wonder why Michael didn't want him to have custody of the kids. Small wonder. But he didn't pick any of his siblings, any of them, Jermaine, Janet, any of them. He picked his mother. So you would think that Maybe there was hope with her and that these grandkids would be okay. After all, Daddy was all about working them like slaves so that he could have a living, so that he could make money off of them. Apparently, Mom's this way too. Grandmother Catherine Jackson apparently is this way too. Because we're now starting to get early. This is just simply... Me as an average person looking at this situation, this is what I get from it. And I imagine that other people are getting this too. That, uh, yeah, Paris, I don't see any problem with you going into the business and uh, making a movie. In fact, do it right now. That way you can go make money and other adults can be looking after you, telling you what to do, monitoring you, while me, your legal guardian, your grandmother, abandons you and the other kids and goes to another state without telling you or anyone where I was going. That way I can have a vacation. But hey, you're working and you're a kid and by the way, make that movie so I can tap into that money too, being your legal guardian as well. This woman has no idea just how very close to being in deep shit she could have been. Uh, you can't do this. You, you just can't do this. You can't just abandon your charges. Uh, what would have happened if any of these kids had had a medical emergency or, a, heaven forbid, an emergency room visit? They can't do anything without the legal guardian's input. She's in another state, no information on where she went for all the eight days. <laughs> wow, it's not even funny. I'm just, I'm laughing because I'm absolutely stymied over the selfishness and the greed of the, the, this family. From the top down, from the elder generations down, are just horrendous. They have done so much damage. This family is the poster situation for not becoming famous, for uh, be careful of success and money and fame and what it can do. They don't even know how to be a family. 
They don't. They have no idea how to be an actual family. No clue. You have the grandparents for two generations now taking advantage of the kids, making money off of them, rather than doing it themselves and actually taking care of their kids and being parents for their kids instead of being their professional agents. It's disgusting. And it had an effect on Michael. We see what happened with him. Uh, Janet certainly has issues. All the kids have issues. Um, the kids are now in the temporary custody of, I believe his name is TJ Jackson. Hopefully this, this dude has his head on straight. Hopefully there's hope because these kids need it. Uh, Paris especially, I think she's a teenager, isn't she? She's at the age where it is natural to rebel. She's old enough where she's starting to think that adults don't really know better. The adults in her life don't know better. And she wants to stretch her wings and she wants to do whatever she wants to do. That's actually natural. We may look at it as irritating as older adults, but it's actually necessary. She needs to test it from the day that we're born. We all need to learn boundaries and we have to test those boundaries. And we have to learn and discover for ourselves or be told and trained and taught from parents, school, or whatever, what these boundaries are and why. Because uh, you don't want to necessarily learn some things the hard way. And it sounds like that's what Janet was trying to do on behalf of her deceased brother. And it, she's right. Uh, Paris has her entire life. There's going to be opportunities for reality TV or anything else that she wants to do at that point. She didn't need to do it right now. And th this family, oh man, I hope, I just, I hope that there's the ability for her to just have a substantial guardian to give her limits because that's what she needs. Anybody who's been a parent uh, to the point where their kids have become adolescents or, they, or they, uh, their kids have grown up and have already gone through and moved on since the adolescent phase, Anybody who's been a parent and has gone through this can, it's like I'm preaching to the choir when I say this. These kids, these adolescents, want to do what they want to do. They're going to think you're stupid. They're going to go through that phase where they're just not going to take you that seriously and they're going to be hell bent on doing what they want to do until something in life affects their personal comfort zone, their basics for living, then they realize they can't do it on their own. And that is when they come to the realization they need you, the parent, the guardian, the whoever. Now they may not be happy that they came to this realization, but it's necessary. It's necessary for them to step back down and let time go by and let them mature and let you teach them more so that they uh, make the transition into adulthood and independence. <sighs> That's all that I want to say about the Jackson family fiasco. Uh, it's just bewildering to me, but what can I say? I'm just an average dude. Everybody, have an excellent day. Take care. Have a good one.